All right. Welcome, everybody, to another Techie Tip Tuesday. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about landing pages. And I was been thinking a lot about this because there's a lot of different types of pages that you can create. So like right now, you're seeing a website. Um, and so websites are more, you've got a lot of information. There's a lot of different places that people can go to learn about you, how to work with you, your services. It's like kind of like a whole book, right? And then there's also sales pages, um, which are a little bit more of a journey. I was trying to find one of mine, but um, I just, I couldn't find it. <laughs> um, but I'm sure you've seen them before where um, you you click on something and it's kind of a journey. It's like, um, I don't know, it could take you like five to 10 minutes to read through it. It's all on one page and they might have five different places where you can say, yes, I'm ready to sign up um, versus a landing page. It's a lot more simple. You want to kind of just grab their information, give them something that they want, something that's going to solve their problem right away. So it's very focused. Uh, so I'm going to give you a couple examples of mine just so it's easy to understand. And then we'll go ahead and build one together. Um, just so you can kind of see an example of how to do that. You can build them in a lot of different places. Um, so you can put them on your website if you want to. I'll kind of explain the pros and cons of that versus having them hosted on your email marketing. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and dive into that. Um, so I have a couple. So as you probably remember for the Techie Tip Tuesday, if you've ever come to a live class or um, if you get the emails for this, um, this is, you know, it's very specific what it is, what it does, all the information people need. Um, and for me, this is a little bit different in that it's kind of an evergreen landing page for me. I keep updating it, adding new things, deleting classes of the past. Um, but it still serves that purpose where I can just direct people to this. Um, and it's only going to take them a couple minutes to decide, is this something I want to sign up for or not? Um, this one, my SEO audio course is even more specific. That's very, very short. Um, so it's just, you know, is somebody interested in it? They can just put in their information, um, and you're ready to go. So, um, I've been using for mine is ConvertKit, which is now just Kit for my email marketing. I'm going to be transitioning over to go high level, um, but I paid for a year of Kit and I'm still kind of learning the go high level. But if you are starting out and you need an email marketing system, I would recommend go high level because you don't have to pay for a million different systems. Um, and I'll put a link uh, to my link if you want a free 14 day trial for that one. Um, but anyway, uh, for Kit, which is weird because it was convert kit like two weeks ago. Um, you're gonna, if you do have this or just an example, um, I think it's the grow, you know, this, they have a whole area for landing pages and forms. So you'll click on that. And then you have the option, uh, form is more like your contact, form like on your website something like that versus a whole landing page it's a little bit more um, design styled and it's a whole page um, and this one's going to be hosted on ConvertKit I just think it's easier sometimes if you depends on where your website is hosted how easy it is to connect them and get them to show up properly um, so for me, uh, my current website is on Duda and it doesn't talk to ConvertKit like directly. I'd have to use another third party software. So for me, I think it's really easy uh, just to have, you can have direct links on your website that go to an external page. So I think that's easy enough. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, main thing is just that it works and that you're capturing those leads, you're growing your email list um, and that you're you know, the people that want your help are able to get your help. Um, so you want to first decide what you want it to look like. Um, so for me, something that I'm going to be doing, uh, let me go to the other one. So I do have a class that's coming up 
in December, which is the year end goal setting. And so I'm going to be kind of doing a special, special promotion. Stay tuned. I won't go into it today. Um, but this is going to be a pretty big class for me, probably more of a webinar style versus these short 10, 15 minute classes that you're, you're used to every week. Um, so I might want to like run ads to it on Facebook, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and create a landing page for that. Um, so what you're going to need to think about before you do your page is you want to have good content and then probably an image or two as well. So I tried to be prepared with that as I, as best I could. Um, so I'm going to need, so this is going to be an event. I guess it could be a webinar too. Some of these will look the same as well. So, and this is one I've used in the past and I do really like that. This one's neat that you can do like a video of yourself, you know, talking to people about what it's going to be about. I think that one could be really fun. But for today, just to make it easy, we're going to go ahead and choose this one because I'm fairly prepared with the graphic uh, to go ahead and just pop it in. And then you want to go ahead and name it just so you'll be able to find it easily. Uh, so we're just going to call this goal setting webinar. And then what I did is I went to my handy dandy friend, uh, ChatGPT, um, and I asked it to help me. So I kind of told it about, I'm going to be doing this class. Um, this is the goal. This is what we're doing. Can you help me create the page? So thankfully, with the help of ChatGPT, it's so much easier than it used to be. So I have a headline, a subheadline. I have my content, the date, the time, all those good things. So let's go ahead and just start copying and pasting. And let's see if I can change that image. It's been a while since I've created one of these. Okay, so heading. If I need to change that later, I don't want to take up too much time. But yeah, it's nice with ChatGPT, but, you know, you have to review it, but it's a really great way to organize your thoughts and, yeah, save a lot of time. Helps you. It's a good thinking tool. And then I do have this image that I was going to use for the back of that area. Then going back and forth, the Zoom is getting me. <laughs> okay. So we've got that area. See if this fits. So just kind of copying and pasting your content. You want to give people as much information as they need to make that decision of what they're going to be getting. I think I just have a couple more copy and paste. And below this. Um, so what they'll learn, why they should attend. I love how ChatGPT has organized it. And then below this one, I like that it has that call to action. Add a space. So you just want to double check that it looks, you know, visually appealing and like it's something that you would sign up for 
and represents, you know, your business or what you're trying to do. Um, and then everything you should, we should be able to edit. Let's see. And then with this one and anyone, you want to think about what information you want to capture. So usually first name and email is going to be the easiest thing for people are willing to give up. <laughs> uh, the more you ask, the more hesitation you're going to receive. First name is usually great. The only other thing you might want to grab is their phone number. If that's something that um, you feel like adds value and that, um, you know, maybe you text updates and you're... Uh, followers really like that, you would want to grab their phone number. Um, I usually just keep it to these two. Um, and then you can, of course, okay, I think this is our photo. That looks pretty good. Um, and then we want to change the button to remember this being a little easier to use. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to go into too many details just because um, you might be using something completely different. Um, but just to go for another example, sign me up, um, let's go. Uh, you can do a lot of really fun, you know, what to put in your button area. Um, so I'll probably use a sign me up just because, you know, this is kind of a, 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 someone's committing to this, you know, they're wanting to focus on their goals for next year. They're excited. I think that that's a good one. Um, but you could also think about your branding and just what makes sense for your business. So hopefully that helps and makes sense. Um, and then you will have a link, of course, when you when this is all ready to go that you'll share in all the all the good places. Um, so yeah, you can like I have, you know, put it on your website. If you're running Facebook ads, um, it'll go to, you know, it could go to this landing page depending on how you set things up. So yeah, so this is basically what a landing page is. It's very direct and it has a strong purpose, I would say is the best way to describe a landing page. Um, so next week, we're actually going to go into how to do a website. Um, and that is going to be a lot different than this. Um, so if you're interested, be sure to uh, come to next week's class. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, the replay, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and open it up for some uh, Q&A live office hours afterwards. So uh, if you ever have any questions and you want to ask me directly to feel free to come to one of these classes and I will definitely help out if I can. So thank you for watching and I will see you again next week.